Siemens is one of the largest and most respected electrical companies in the world. Its corporate headquarters is based in Berlin and here in historic Munich, Germany, a place that is known for perhaps the world's most famous beer hall and its rich and unique Bavarian culture. At Siemens, innovation has been a way of life for more than a century. It's more than 155 years old, and if you think of the history of electricity, then that means we were right there at the start. We laid some of the first cables between the USA and the UK as a transatlantic telephone cables. And since then, we've grown to a company that's more than 70 billion euros, employs more than 410,000 people, and we're representative in more than 180 countries in the world. Siemens maintains a dominant worldwide presence in four primary areas of business, energy, industry, infrastructure in cities, and healthcare. It should come as no surprise that a company that is known for its world-class automation technology decided to fundamentally transform and automate its global shared services department. Global Shared Services is the back office or the transaction side of the business. We look after the paperwork for the companies. We employ more than 6,000 people and we're present today in more than 10 delivery centers. The decision to automate the Siemens accounts payable processes began in 2011. What we mean by automation is that, that nobody has to touch it from the time uh, the document arrives in the inbox to handing it over to SAP. There were two key drivers around the decision to automate. First was the company's emphasis on achieving the highest quality possible for its clients. As our CFO often says, nine out of 10 for quality is not a pass mark in our industry. So what we wanted to do is to take the best processes and the best automation projects that we could find around the world and build them into these new transaction centers that we have to ensure that the quality is at the highest possible level. Secondly, the cost to maintain, improve, and train staff on many different platforms is time-consuming and expensive. So, the company began working on a finance bundling project to streamline its delivery and transaction centers in each of its more than 400 operating companies around the world. It was decided that we needed to centralize these initiatives into, into back office and front office activities. So, as this two-year project, we embarked upon moving from 400 delivery centers around the world to only 10. In order to move these processes, we followed what we called in, within Siemens a lift-drop-change approach sometimes referred to as lift and shift. What we did is we took the processes on an as-is basis and then we dropped them into the centralized delivery centers that we set up around the world to handle the shared service business for Siemens. After completing the lift drop phase, Siemens has now embarked on the change portion of the process as the enabled delivery centers were left with very different workflows, operational platforms and systems. So what we wanted to achieve was is continual process improvement on standardized platforms. We had a very manual process with actually lots of human interaction at very different stages of it. And what we wanted to do is to reduce that as much as possible and have a continuous process workflow, particularly with purchase order pairings and entry into our SAP systems. So the company went in search of new technologies and process alternatives to effectively handle its account payable automation needs. Our main problem was that uh, we had some uh, OCR technology already in place, which extracted the data from the invoice. Um, but we still had the step of the manual checking and making sure that everything was correct. So we didn't have that full confidence of having correct data in the system. So we did some investigations about what type of software was on the marketplace. We'd heard some good things about perceptive software. We researched some similar sized companies that also use this software. And then we decided that we would enter into having a discussion with Perceptive to see how they could help us in this process. The key uh, for the evaluation for Perceptive Capture was that we uh, performed a proof of concept uh, where Perceptive came in and, and just started with two uh, documents that we gave them. And during the meeting, we processed 37 documents uh, which were specifically taken for this proof of concept, which failed in our existing system, the uh, automated uh, processing and the automated vendor determination. So it's really only the ones that we were looking forward to improve. The proof of concept went very well. We got a result of at least 50% automation rate uh, out of these 37 documents. We got 100% of vendor determination, so this was outstanding for us. Perceptive software was just uh, a missing link uh, we needed because uh, in our OCR we are using, we didn't have the, the success or the potential for further optimi optimization anymore. Perceptive software stood, stood out because they have a completely different technology. 
So it is really the brainware concept which is very interesting to us. We don't have to define certain form sheets for, for, for different suppliers or things like that. Brainware is really able to read out documents like a human being would do it. And this uh, really helps in doing then the further uh, data capturing process. Working together uh, with the perceptive team uh, to do the evaluation, to do the business cases, to uh, get everything ready to present to the management uh, was very important. The, um, the patience that they showed, the competence that they showed, um, the overall experience that they showed uh, dealing with us um, helped us to uh, get this done as smooth as possible. Not only did the proof of concept go smoothly, the same can be said for the swift and seamless implementation of the software. Then the implementation was the very informal and very good cooperation between the development team and our project team. And this made it possible that we could go live after nine weeks after the beginning of the implementation. After we decided the automation of these delivery centers, what we also wanted to do is not just harmonize within a single individual delivery center. We wanted to make sure that within all the delivery centers that we had, we could share the best practices and the best processes. And therefore, we also embarked upon a process of knowing what the each delivery center is doing and taking the best practices and rolling those out into all of our centers. When it comes to the results, Siemens is extremely pleased with how much better their AP operations are after such a short period of time. Important for Siemens is the vendor determination. Siemens has 90 different odd, um, company codes and when they get these invoices, what we want to know at the very early stage is how to sort them and send them into the right areas of the company. And what we've found is very good process within perceptive software is vendor determination and line pairing. And those are two items we've been very pleased with so far. Siemens will also use perceptive capture within its central scanning solution in Germany, not just for invoices or credit notes, but also to classify other documents like Dunning letters or balance confirmations in digital form to its many internal customers. Siemens is also able to receive PDF documents via email from vendors directly without a digital signature and introduce them directly into the perceptive capture solution for processing. In addition, the software provides Siemens with the opportunity to set up an urgent payment process via special email accounts that will process documents through perceptive capture with a higher priority and within minutes. There are so many more benefits to the perceptive capture software and as a result, Siemens is realizing its automation potential now and already planning to use the software for other functions into the future. We are very happy what we accomplished so far and we're also very excited on what we can do next with the software. For example, uh, taking the PO confirmations, scanning them, extracting them, comparing to the PO that's in the SAP, uh, compare the lines and if uh, needed, uh, automate some workflows uh, after that. Our first impressions after going live is that the automation rate is increased by at least 30% from the start, just not implementing anything specific. So we have great hopes that in, with tweaking and doing more to the system, we'll actually get it further and increase the automation rate. I'm very excited about it because it's just, you can see what um, the software can do nowadays. We, we coming from really just um, extracting some data, uh, some fields of the invoice, going towards uh, having 50 fields of an invoice, which is amazing the extraction rate that, that you can get, um, finding every field, validating every field on the document as itself, uh, which is very exciting to myself. I, I like that about the part of the technology, because if you have every field of the document, then you can process every field, you can validate every field, you can make sure that things are in place, which actually only people could get in place before. Though automation provided by perceptive software is transforming the entire AP operations at Siemens, those who work here are equally impressed by the human interaction they've enjoyed with perceptive software from start to finish. One of the most pleasing aspects about working with perceptive software is that their dedication to the customer, that they're there for us at every step of the way. They told us and promised us that they would implement this project within three months They've done it on time and on budget. 